New owner the 44-year-old from Yorkshire went into the boardroom after Newcastle's 11 draw with Liverpool the 3rd of October 2017, 11.46 p.m. updated the 3rd of October 2017, 11.46 p.m. Amanda Staveley has met Newcastle Chiefs as she steps up her interest in a potential takeover. Sunsport reported yesterday how the Megaric financier had spoken to representatives of Toon boss Rafa Benitez. Amanda Staveley was at St James Park on Sunday. Amanda Staveley met with Newcastle Chiefs after the Liverpool game. Now it has emerged that Staveley also went into the Newcastle boardroom after Sunday's 11 draw with Liverpool to speak to senior club officials. They included Toon managing director Lee Chanley, PR man Keith Bishop and lawyer Justin Barnes, who Mike Ashley brought in as an advisor in the summer to help sell the club. Staveley, who runs the £20 billion private equity fund PCP Capital Partners, is interested in buying a Premier League club and has been keen to find out more about Newcastle. The Yorkshire woman, 44, has not spoken to Ashley himself and has not made any offer. But her communication with a sports direct tycoon's trusted Toon lieutenants confirms she has genuine interest in the St James Park side, who Ashley values at around £400 million. Staveley, 44, helped Taksin Shinawat sell Manchester City to Abu Dhabi's Sheikh Mansour in 2008. Newcastle's Josela gets a massive slice of luck as Joe Matip kicks the ball off his leg and into the net. Lee Charnley Wright with Mike Ashley in the stands at St James Park. Amanda Staveley also met with representatives of Rafa Benitez. Mike Ashley wants just shy of £400 million for Newcastle and several parties have expressed interest in recent weeks. Staveley sat in the stands next to Hillsborough campaigner Margaret Aspinall, who Newcastle boss Rafa Benitez made guest of honour for the game against Liverpool. Interestingly, Staveley has previously been involved in takeover attempts of the Reds. Staveley has previously worked with Manchester City and her group made an offer for Liverpool in 2007. She helped Dubai investors with a bid which was ultimately aborted. And last year her firm made a joint offer for a share of the club with Chinese company Everbright Limited, but it was rejected by the Reds' current owners, the Fenway Sports Group. Staveley has also been linked with a potential takeover attempt of Tottenham. Newcastle 11 Liverpool defensive howler cost Reds again as Joe Silo earns point after Philippe Coutinho stunner.